Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at the Korg IMS-20. Okay, so this has been out for ages and ages and ages and, and it's so well loved and it's still not a gadget in gadgets. So I thought, I don't think I've ever done a video for this. I really don't. I want that as an 40 odd videos and I don't think I've ever covered this. Covered all the other Korg apps. But anyway, look, I wanted to do a... When this first came out, it was, a, it was kind of revolutionary it was brilliant you can do all sorts of cool stuff you can sequence stuff so that's what basically we're going to have a good look at how you create your own songs because it's not that straightforward and there are some interesting ways to call do things with this and the ipoly 6 that never kind of caught on but anyway you can create some amazing sounds. This is a sound I, I actually created myself. Shock horror. But literally, I have no idea. I don't know why it's not changing pitch. I just know it sounds like a lonely cold radio, which is what I called it. I have it midi up to my little IMS-20. Because my big MIDI controller exploded, and I'm waiting for my other one to arrive, a cheaper one. But I, I need a one with the big keys to actually do the videos properly. But it was a good thing because it's let me explore other things that I could do while I'm waiting for that to arrive. So IMS-20. So I suggest that the very, very, very first thing we do is let's just go to initial and set up this completely blank thing. And if we look at our pattern here, I uh, don't want to get that in shot, do I? If we look at our pattern, to our song let's load up um song pattern no sorry synth see how confusing this gets usually it'll be something like i don't know why it's not done it this time something like that when it when it when it turns on just switch the gate off here and you'll be left with nothing so the first thing to do i would be i suggest would be to um go to the drums here kick drum uh, and edit the kick drum sound So you find one that is actually more to your liking. And that's going to be a little bit more meaty there. So you don't get a massive range of effects, but, you know, you get some. <laughs> you can turn that off now. And then let's go back. Um, sorry, let's just go back. And there's our, our drum pattern there. Now, um, let's just leave it at that. So, right right straight off, let's go back to synth, which we have um, that pretty boring. Where's the thing now? Let's put keyboard in. Now, not the keyboard that's down here. Really, not very useful. Let's put this keyboard in here. And on this keyboard, you'll see record. And it gives you a four by like so once you hit record it'll start the pattern off and this is going to record whatever i play on this or my little my little midi keyboard so we'll stick with this and then you can see you've got c3 c4 i mean this is probably going to bore most people to death you know what i mean but there you go so let's record some and it's done okay now you might have noticed as I was recording, the gates were opening for the, each, each particular note. So if we want to... Switch them off. We can. There's still that one. And that one. Let's open a little bit. So let's do that again. Okay, now let's get a better sound. Okay, 
Let's go with something a bit acidy. And then let's add an effect to that sound, shall we? Now. So that will do to start our to start our thing off, right? So let's fit now. Let's what we'll do now is we'll go to here where it says song and pattern. Okay, so this is where you can actually build up your your track, and it's once you understand how this works, it's pretty straightforward. You'll notice that these white buttons along the top, these are basically that's your song arrangement, and you will see that the, underneath the first one it says one up to four one one one, and then loop. Now if I press play. Now, while it's in song mode, you will notice that once it starts up at the top here, this little light above that one, zero, zero, one, and then it'll move, and then it'll move again, and then it'll loop back. So let's go to, right, what we want to do now is we're going to copy pattern one to pattern two, okay? So we need to go to here, Utility, Copy Pattern, and then it will just ask us to select the Source Pattern first. So we want to select Pattern 1, and we can collect, we could select it to any of the other, other, other patterns, but we won't. We want to copy that to Pattern 2. Okay, and then we're going to select Pattern 2 and play that. We're just going to select Pattern. So there is, there is Pattern 2 which is exactly the same as pattern one. However, what we're gonna do now is go back to sin. And we're gonna select a different sound. Now, you know, you wouldn't normally do this. You'd probably leave it, but my point here, my point here is that you can, if we go back to uh, pattern mode here, you can see what will happen is if we go to pattern one now. It gives you, for every single pattern change you make, you can change the sound of the actual thing. Now, you can't do that with the drums, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't, I couldn't seem to get that to work. It doesn't matter. So for pattern two, now that we've changed the sound, but it's exactly the same pattern, just let's, just let's play around a little bit with the actual the actual sequence itself so let's bring up our keyboard controller again and let's hit record so i've just basically overwritten i could have set everything to zero but i've just basically overwritten everything adjustment to the actual let's get to the actual let's get rid of the keyboard but you know you could spend time and you could mess around now I'm not going to get into what all the other stuff does because it confuses me Synth. And 
and we also have a, a global a global effect send uh, which we can control as well but that will be for global that will be for everything so let us go back to our song and pattern mode now so what we've got now is we've got something new for pattern 2 so what we can do now is select this and select pattern 2 but say I just want me pattern next pattern to play for the next four bars that's cool beans we can select as many of those as we like and just hit pattern 2 and and then at the end here let's put this to loop again now if we set it to stop what will happen is the 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 obvious will will will, will occur let me set that to song and then I'll stop okay so quite like that that's okay you know it's not the next mega hit like but it's all right now look so what we're going to do again is we're going to go to utility and we're going to go copy pattern and we're going to copy pattern two and we're going to copy it to pattern three okay so <clears throat> what we want to be doing now is playing pattern three but just on pattern mode first part this second part is better than the first part right and then we're going to go to drums okay So let's go into song mode now and see what's going on. Now let's put some, let's select this now. Let's go, let's select the next four actually. And let's copy that pattern to those next four. Okay. And then we can, we can obviously choose that, you know, we can write up to 16 patterns. Okay. So, you know, obviously this is your swing in your sequencer settings. Step grid I'll explain in just a sec. And then you still have access to your mixer here. So let's just quickly, quickly play this and see what happens. And go to song. And then it will go back to pattern one forever because I haven't stopped it or looped it. And as you can see, you can, well, you know, how many bars you want in a song? You can have 250, 253, 54, 55, 256 bars. Hello. Sounds like something I might do. Sounds progressive, that does. Anyway, look, so that's the thing. Right now, pattern change, pattern lock. Whether that's on or off, it'll make no difference. But it just means that the, the, the instant I hit another pattern, it will start to change. Now, there's something weird there because I don't understand, but it, it, it just kind of stops itself. And if I start the song again, that will play fine. Anyway, so, I, I don't know. Now, this thing here, you can set this for every single pattern, and it's just the speed that it will change to the next pattern. So let's see. Let's set pattern one here to eight. And let's set pattern two to one. Now you'll see what, what will happen when I play the song, okay? Just watch. What we'll, we'll do is well, we'll adjust um, where it goes back here to normal. I'll just set that to loop. <laughs> Okay, so if we if we if we were to set this like pattern three to one step, you might get a better idea. So it 
okay so you can create like stuttery gated type things but that's again something you need to be just messing around with um to get the best to get the best effect sort of thing so then i had asked them now if i wanted just to get back get back to whereas i am so it just means also as well that you can get one particular pattern to play for um so, oh, do you know the down off fiddly it means you can get one particular pattern to play for as lo basically as long as you'd like you know more or less uh if we set like pattern one to <laughs> you know 63 it just go on forever before it changed <laughs> Until you change it back down so that's that's that that's how that works that's the point of that okay so uh, another thing now as well so you kind of get thinking yeah well that's great you know got one thing in the track see that's what i mean this is old now you know what i mean it's not gonna you know this it may this may be of interest to a few people but i don't know anyway here we have the cool thing is now that for the drum tracks we can kind of use them uh, as synth tracks we don't have as much control over them as we do um, the the actual synthesizer itself, the synth track itself. But that doesn't matter. We still do have control. So let us, just for starters, let us go to um, let's go to song mode a sec. Now, how far did I get? Let's go play the pattern three and pat pattern four is just initial pattern so let's so what we're going to do is copy again we're going to copy pattern and we're going to actually let's copy copy pattern one now and stick it in pattern four see how that sounds that'll do i'm not using that so let's go first of all to sound edit okay and it'll, it'll play this is the thing you can't stop that really just to, this gives you a, you can alter your sound so let's just choose a choose a sound that you like Okay, let's use that plug type sound because that's quite nice. And then we can make any adjustments we like to it via the synth sort of thing. Okay, and then we can just go back. And this sound now will be, if I put that in, it will be the... Very nice. Okay, so... But we, we don't need to we don't need to do it like that let's go to sequence edit now so we hit sequence edit and we can do this so you do have chaos pads here as you can see which is very cool and you can see that we're chaosolating drum four uh, which is now our ARP sequence type sound okay so but i know i i i i i i want to do it with a keyboard so we do we can record a sequence with the keyboard so that's what we're going to do for pattern four so again the important thing with the uh the, with the ims 20 is that this keyboard here that keyboard at the bottom of the actual keyboard it's okay for playing just playing with it or having it really different you're just using it as synth but really this is the keyboard that does does the business and you can have it set to thin or thick so it can suit your actual place or you can and uh, now there's another thing as well right my synth my actual synth is the one that's midi up to the keyboard to the to my uh, little micro station so i mean i don't know if there's a way that i probably could get it to play on that but there you go i'm gonna do it with this and i'm gonna play a sequence so i'm gonna let's have a quick jam see what sounds okay
little C's in there. And of course you can... And then we can go to our mixer. our three in there and um, let's put there let's put our new pattern let's put, let's put it in the next four so we've got now a, a, a 16 bar sequence now let's remember that uh, let's just nip forward so i can see my next bar 17 and make sure that so you see now you've got zero so the first set there is one to 16 obviously and then if we move that one forward we've got that and we need to set this to let's set that to stop okay, okay. let's do that and we might not put a bit of swing on as well because that might sound nice but anyway let's see okay so we can go back there now where our sequence is proper and let's go to song and let's see how that, how that sounds. entirely happy with your thing and when you're entirely happy with your thing you can go to global and you can bounce song or bounce the pattern uh, or you could do it in real time record and I think that means that you can actually mess around now the thing is here this exports to oh the dreaded we don't need that the dreaded iTunes I don't want that anymore I want this to be able to export to audio shit and stuff like that can't do that however what you can do is if you open audio bus uh, if you have audio bus if you haven't you need to you need to get audio bus but you can open audio bus here and in an input slot you can put um your Korg IMS20 and then you can record you know you can just manually record it hit play and record it into audio share cubasis aurea uh, whatever door uh, you 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 use you know um so you know you can get it out and then you can you can work on it further i don't know cog may eventually uh, port a version of this to gadgets which would be very cool indeedy i think we've covered most of the things we've had a look at the mixer and the the how you program your drums and how you can change out the sound of the drums and then you actually use that as another so you could theoretically have you know six synthesized tracks or one kick drum track and five synth tracks you know if that's the kind of thing or or whatever uh, so in theory you could have seven synths because you have a a, a, a synth track and um from one to yeah you have yeah seven you have a synth track and and your and your what's it on your what's it track your main your your main synth track and six drum tracks to do that yeah so you're good to go with that. I haven't used this for yonks absolutely ages and ages and ages. But I just thought it'd be nice to just do do this this morning. And, uh, yeah, 25 minutes. Of the, they take ages, these, don't they? But, you know, there you go. But it's nice. It's nice. Um, the synth itself is, you know, is a, it's a nice thing. You can. The good thing is, as well, also, you can preview... It's not polyphonic, of course, but nor was the original, and this is what this is like. 
Um, you have synth templates, drum templates. So you've got you can start with all sorts of all sorts of stuff. You know, you could uh, and the templates will give you. Uh, let's say let's set up a. Uh, I'm not even going to be bothered about saving that, by the way. But uh, let's say if we've got a, du a, du a dubstep template to start with, we can close that. And let's go to our song now, song pattern mode. So they give you songs and stuff you could arrange yourself and then just make, you know, you could make tiny adjustments to them via how we've just seen. So it's pretty versatile, you know, it's a pretty neat thing. There are there are people out there who are absolute geniuses with this thing and they just, they love it, you know, much, much, much better than me. Tim Webb did a, f a superb series uh, on, you know, the whole programming thing and everything, good, which is, which is, we covered everything years ago. But it's, it's so it's so long now. Anyway, look. Anyway, anyway, uh, guys, there you go. I mean, there's a there's a bit of a bit of a thing for IMS twenty since I haven't done one. There's all, you can do all sorts of really cool stuff with this, and you know you can of course you can. Oh, you know, ooh, don't want to be messing around with that. <laughs> don't want to be. Oh no. Nah, dodgy. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And once you get your head around the the, the sound system, the sequences system. It's quite an enjoyable thing, you know, and it's fun, and it, you can it, you can take ages and ages. Look, anyway, I'm going on. Um, let me take a screenshot. The lock, lock, lock's nice, doesn't it? Um, uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, consider becoming a patron. Very cool beans. I'll see you later.